Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're taking a dive into projects. I have mentioned projects before, but I haven't really talked about them in depth. So let's get into it. What is a project? If we come to User Collections and hit Plus, we get four options. Albums, Smart Albums, Projects, and Groups. Now, albums and smart albums are ways of organizing your images. Projects and groups are ways of organizing your albums and a group is what a lot of people use most of the time. The symbol is this little folder that we see right there and it is able to hold any album and any smart album and the smart albums can draw images from the entirety of your collection, the entirety of your catalog, but that is not true of projects. Let's go ahead and create a project and we are going to just give this a name and we're going to create it and it's gonna sit right here. It's got a different symbol and everything. Now, the idea behind the project is that it is going to have only a selected and discrete number of images. So I'm going to go ahead and create a smart album inside of my project and I'm going to call this five star images and I'm going to use the preset for five stars. Now you would think this would be a lot of images because all I did was make a smart album that attempts to find every single five star image but when I click on it there is in fact nothing in my browser. The reason for this is that smart albums inside of a project can only draw from images that are already within the project. In other words, you have to have an album, not a smart album, that has images inside of it in the project and that is the discrete set of images that the smart albums can draw from. So what I'm going to do is find a regular album. Here I have a album, not a smart album, called Zoo Lights and we're going to take that and we're just going to move it into the project. Now this has 432 images inside of it, but of course we could take images, we could copy them, put them into a brand new album. However you wanted to create this would be absolutely fine, but we have a sequence of images here. I'm gonna take a couple of them and rate them as five stars. And now I'm going to come to that same five star image smart album and find three images inside of it. These are the three images that are five stars. In other words, they fit the requirements for the smart album, but are already inside of the project within a regular album. Now, what's the point of all of this? The point is that if you work with individual clients and you need to make sure that the images you shoot for one client cannot show up in projects that you do for other practices at work, for other clients or other outputs, then working with projects ensures that you cannot mix and match images with clients that really should not be mixed and matched. That's a fantastic little feature to be able to exploit. If, on the other hand, you are a regular home and enthusiast user, you want all of your images always available. And so using a project or a group is going to be a great way of guaranteeing the way that your images mix and match between your smart albums. Anyway, I hope this has been useful and a good introduction to projects, something that is not very well understood inside of Capture One. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.